Hello my crafty peeps, it's Liz with Zane Lane Crafted and today we're going to do a walkthrough of Wallflower. This this is her um, and she is finally complete um, and listed in my Etsy store for uh, purchase and um, she is tied with um, just some scarf yarn. Uh, really pretty gold, and um, it's just tied in a bow. She is approximately nine by six, and hard covered. On the front, we have a beautiful postcard with a flower, and lace, and some charms. She has two signatures with an exposed spine. And on the back, um, I left it plain because she is covered in wallpaper, which I thought was just beautiful. And I didn't want to cover all of it. Um, but that is why, that is one of the reasons why she is called Wallflower is because um, the book itself is covered in a wallpaper and each sh signature, um, signature covers are made from wallpaper as well. So let's get into her. And let me set that aside. I'm going to set this aside as well. Um, she is quite a gator mouth. She has uh, charms dangling off her spine or off her, her pages um, in several different places. And you can Take those off and move them around wherever you would like. And let's just go ahead and get into this. So, I'm not going to show you everything because whoever buys this, I want them to explore and, you know, find stuff. So, um, on the inside cover, um, it's covered in some, some pretty paper. And then there is a pocket here. Uh, it comes with a handmade bookmark um, that I think goes really well with the book itself. And then I put a little book plate in here so that you can put your name and uh, tell everybody who it belongs to. Uh, this is the first signature. And I kind of left it plain because I liked the... the um, pattern on here and just put some little rhinestones in the center to give it some bling. Um, uh, right on the inside cover of, of the first signature we do have a couple of pockets also made out of that same material and made a couple of little journaling cards um, tags to go in here as well. Now on every page in this book, there is something, whether it's been stamped or it has cutouts, um, chipboard, lace, uh, something. Uh, so there's lots to explore in here. Uh, I did leave this so that there's lots of journaling room. I wanted this to be something that somebody can write in. Um, this is one of the pullouts. Um, this whole page does fold out and there's writing space on the inside and the outside and it does have a secret little pocket back here with a postcard in it. Um, just uh, this is a Peruvian lily. Isn't it gorgeous? And then it's just a regular postcard. You can use it. You can write on it. Can, you know mail it to somebody whatever you want to do with that that's yours it comes with the book and um, it's trimmed in lace we've got some washi tape on some pages um, this is a stacked four four tag so lots of uh, lots of space here as well Go ahead and put that back in there with some birds. Um, it's another journaling card that I made with a little tech spot. Um, painted flowers, uh, watercolor flowers that I've made, other tech spots and 
There's lots to explore in this book. Um, I've got some tabs on some pages and some bling, if you wanted some bling. Uh, the paper in here, um, it alternates between a tea or coffee dyed paper and a color, um, a food coloring dyed paper, which I actually, and you can kind of see on this page, um, they turned out blue. The pages turned out blue, but I was actually soaking them in a green. Um, so on some of the pages on the edges, you can see it's a little more green. Um, there are a couple of these in here that just fold out. They're like faux envelopes that you can write on those as well. Um, you do, it comes with some altered paper clips and some page foldovers where you have lots of writing space on there as well. They're pretty and they just clip onto the top of a page with an altered paper clip. Just like that. Easy peasy. Lots of tech spots and you'll find butterflies and flowers pretty much throughout. I'm not gonna, like I said, touch on everything in here. Um, everything was made by me and there's a lot of love and time that went into this book. Uh, there's also some altered paper clips that you can move around and put wherever you want. I've stenciled on some of the pages. The second signature has a striped wallpaper design. Um, this is also um, this is also a piece of wallpaper for a tuck that you can put. You can always add more to this. Um, it does have little charms. There's a little charm right there. Lots of things to explore. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go through everything, but there mainly are birds and butterflies and flowers um, throughout this book. Some of the stuff you may recognize from doing online. We've made these pockets together. I made a tag to go in here. Um, I've got some die cuts on some pages, little stickers, ribbon trimmed. This is one of those tuck, uh, quarter tucks that we did with, again, another postcard that you can journal on or write a letter to somebody and send it. In the middle of each of these signatures, um, there is a pocket with... A journaling card and then there's another one there's another one of the little charms some stenciled birds more lace and some bling This one just says another day in paradise. There's another tuck with a journaling card. Um, this is avocado dyed paper with some washi tape. You can just tuck that in there like that. Um, this is some scarf material that I had. More lace, some bling, and then another pocket. And then on the back cover is a simple pocket as well with a tag that you can journal on. And that is Wallflower. Isn't she gorgeous? I just, I just love her. Um, I put a little sticker on here 
This is some kind of canis flower, but that is wallpaper. That is a uh, wallflower because it mainly is flowers, and it's made with wallpaper and just a hardcover book. So, and that is it. Um, thank you for taking the time to look through this with me, and um, I'll see if I can't. Uh, put a link below to my Etsy shop where this will be listed for sale. And thank you again for stopping by. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.